Like yeah. it's, I don't really use him to like get views like crazy or anything. I'm not like Astro, yeah. but um, oh. yeah. yeah. Well. <laughs> You're three to option one. Option one podcast. Well, boxing. How did you get into boxing? The, the um, Kingpin just slid into my DMs and I was like, Kingpin. yeah, sure, why not? And they actually never paid me for my last fight, so. Thanks, thanks a lot for thanks, that, Kingpin. guys. Yeah, uh, yeah that's Kingpin for you. Um, and that's how I got into it. It was kind of reluctant at first, but it's now it's like it's a lot bigger than what it was. Like Misfits yeah, didn't even yeah, exist yeah. when I started. So, yeah, now it's like everyone wants to do it. All my friends are like, "Can I box?" I'm like, "Wow!" You, you've it's kind a of thing. set the wave, I feel, in the women's scene because when any, when I think anyway of women's influence of boxing, I think of Elbrook. Yeah. I used to think of Elbrook and Astrid Wet, but now just Elbrook. You're in your own league now. Do you know what I mean? You've kind of surpassed every other, everyone else. After your knockout, especially on the, um, on the, what was the last card, John? Who did you fight? Uh, Leeds, AJ Bunker. AJ Bunker, yeah. That was a filthy knockout. Thank um, you. I guess I, I, I was... KO'd Astrid's best win. I love that. When I see that comment, I'm like, oh my God, the sound. A Astrid wet. Yeah. Should we talk a bit about her? Oh, yeah. I honestly, I, the most recent Are you recent kind of over thing, it now? I am so over it. Yeah. Like, as you said, I feel like well, I've just carried on where well, she stayed behind. And even now she's like, quit boxing. I don't know what's going on with that. So mm. our paths are very much not in each other's way right now. So yeah. it's like at peace, I guess. How do you feel with her exit from Misfits and it how that all went down? Because it was very strange. I saw her on Twitter one day. I was like, what's going on here? Yeah. She made this like 10 minute long video. And what are your thoughts on that, Elf? Well, it was my fight week and I was like, everyone was speaking about it and I didn't actually full on, like fully watch the video because I was like, right, I've got a fight. I don't want anything yeah, for yeah, her yeah, to yeah. say to like get into my head or anything. I didn't really know what it was fully about. So like, after what people have said to me, yeah, I don't really understand. I think that um, she's very entitled because I think the comments she made about um, not having time, was it like with like Logan and like not being able to like do yeah. full press conferences? Like everyone was in the same boat. Like I think the whole card was kind of overshadowed by JJ and Logan and Dylan Dallas because it was such a big card that people on the undercard perhaps didn't do um, as many views as they, they hoped they would because a lot of the attention was on JJ and Logan. Mm. I saw you being choked out by Dylan Dan Oh yeah. Was that real? Yeah, that was fully real. I was like, do you know what? I woke up that morning and I was like, I want Dylan Dallas to choke me out. And also like we had spoken, like he, we, we text or whatever. So he right, knew okay. who I was. So like I thought in my head, I was like, he's 100% gonna do this. And I didn't realize how much he loved doing it. Like he reposted <laughs> it all the time. <laughs> Finally. Yes, he's like, oh my yeah. God. So I actually tapped out. Yeah, I didn't yeah, even yeah. tap out, but yeah, no, that was, it was like the most blissful um, experience in my you life. You said it was very peaceful. Amazing, like I think, but if you think in UFC, they're probably choking you on windpipe, aren't they? Yeah. Whereas they're just doing it either side and they squeeze. And like, I was, I started to panic. I was like, before, and then the next thing I was like waking up, I was like, oh, oh this my is God. Fun. I was right next to it when it was happening. I looked over and you're just on the floor. Yeah, I was, I was like fitting. I was like, oh, yeah. that doesn't look great. No. That was, was that a fight week as well? Yeah, that was a prime card on the Wednesday because it was the public workout. Yeah, yeah. So yeah that that got a... so many views. I got like one clip on. Well, two clips got like 100 million each on Twitter. So they got oh, hundreds Christ. of millions of views. Dylan Dennis is a big name, to be fair. Yeah. Mams Taylor. Oh, I love him. So, yeah. Yeah. What, how's he been in this boxing scene to you? Yeah, well, I mean, um, like a promoter, really. Like, I'm not promoter. super close with him. Like, mm. I don't just ring him up all the time. Yeah, it's like yeah. a very professional relationship. But, um, yeah, no, he's good. He puts forward... Um, ideas and you know opponents and works with my manager so yeah he, he's good at what he does the lovely guy yeah very much if you could fight anyone in the world on misfits in your weight category who would you fight if you got the money's there you get to choose your opponent who, who yeah you find. I've always said this but I think she's a little bit too big but I'd love to fight Ronda Rousey because I was such a big fan of her Back in the day, like Fast and Furious 6. I was yeah, like, yeah, oh yeah. my God, I love this girl. This girl is amazing. So for me, I'd, and she's obviously into WWE and stuff. So for me, that's like the ultimate. The goal. I don't, yeah, I don't think I can get much more clouded than that fight. Can she box? I don't think she's like, didn't Holly Holmes fuck her up? And she's, Holly Holmes is a great boxer. Yeah. So yeah. I don't think, I think she's like the JJ. Like she's more mm. of like a ground specialist. Yeah. What's your opinion? On KSI, what are your thoughts on KSI? KSI, 
I admit, I don't know him. Like, I think that, um, I can't remember, I actually met him. I think it was like the November card, because I was sat right behind me, he just turned around, I was like, hi, I was like, oh, hi. Like, yeah. it's, I don't really use him to, like, get views like crazy or anything. I'm not like Astrid, yeah. but, um, oh. yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> but no, like, he's a cool guy, <laughs> yeah. and he works hard. Is he technically my boss, because he owns most of it? I think, is it him or Mams that are, like, I think it's like CEO, joint. Joint, yeah. With, like, the Sounderlands. Yeah. So... Yeah, I guess. I didn't realise Mum's own Prime, but Prime as well. Yeah, the I CEO of that. They have some of it. I mean, he has some kind of stake. That mum must have bank, you know, but he's making so much and money. And he's on like acres of acres of land in Nashville, so yeah. Oh, he lives in Nashville? Yeah. That's why they're all in Nashville in America. Yeah, there's like, there's this. Well, the LA. Car. LA. LA it's yeah, just there's a lot of people in LA. I guess, yeah, it's easier, it's on his turf. But Nashville's really good. You should go there. Well, what's I can imagine the... you're like cowboy. Boots. Yeah, I need a cowboy hat like Mams as well. I, I love the way he dresses. Uh, but the card coming up, what are your thoughts on the card? What fights are you looking forward to? Um, I'm really looking forward to the main event, uh, yeah. Fox. Um, I, think, I think it's quite um, like a builder card, to be honest. It's yeah. not like any huge, huge names in there. I think a fight's going to get announced, so that won't be really interesting. I think Anthony Taylor, obviously, that's the shame that fell through. Yeah. Um, Alexi Grace, I'm gassed for that fight. I love her. She's one of my closest friends. Mm. So, um, yeah, I think it's going to be exciting. Do you get nervous before fights? Yeah, of course. Actually, from my last fight, um, it'd be big-headed to say if I wasn't nervous at all. Really? I was, like, really excited, yeah. Because my, 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 everyone in my team, if you were locked in a room, like, and, like who would come out alive? And I love that. You know what I mean? Like, you just know you'd beat someone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So why am I stressing about having a boxing, like a fight in a ring? Because I would know I'd beat them yeah, up anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know? And you, you didn't just beat her up. You oh, that put was her good. out for weeks. Yeah. She wasn't the same. I saw the way she went down. Just... I know, it's so funny, like, watching me do the count as well, because I've never had someone be counted out before. So yeah. I'm just, like, moving around. <laughs> you were chilling, yeah. I'm just, like, you meant to stand in, like, the neutral position, and I'm just having the best time of my life. Do you, like, look back at your highlights and be like, that's fucking me. Yeah, I know. Yeah. For my faith fight in this fight, for the Kingpin ones, I'm just, like, jinx, they were all so bad. I've got a really good rate on, like, um, on Misfits, yeah. Have you always been into boxing, then, even before, you know, before you got into it? Was yeah. that always something that interested you to get into I, I mean i always fancied uh, fancied anthony joshua but apart from that yeah but i like, do too yeah, i'd but, suck him off you know that's probably the only boxer i knew in the world like perhaps canelo or someone like really casual or oh, david hay i don't know yeah but um no i wasn't a boxing fan at all whereas sam my love my life genuinely revolves around it because all my friends are always fighting because they're all um prospects so they're having to fight five times a year so i'm always going to their fights they're coming to my fights, so like everything's boxing. Do you, what... do you watch the big fights? Um, I'm going to the Fabio Wardley fight. That's a really good oh, card um, on Easter. What did you think of Nganu Joshua? Oh, that was amazing. Um, th uh, obviously, it's. Big AJ fan. Big, big, big AJ fan. Um, if he's couldn't... watching right now, do you have a message to AJ? I love you. <laughs> <laughs>